This project will take two colors of yarn, one for the cone and the other for the scoop. I used worsted weight for yarn, but any yarn is fine, you'll just have a different size finished project. Let's start with the cone. Start by crocheting six single crochet stitches into a magic ring. If you're a beginner and not sure how to do this step, I've linked two videos below. One will show how to do the magic ring slowly, while the other is an alternative I find more beginner friendly. In this video, I will have the pattern written up above so you can follow along. The number in brackets at the end is the number of stitches you should have at the end of each round. And finally, if you find this video too fast or too slow, I have instructions on how to change the speed of YouTube videos linked below. For round two, crochet an increase stitch, which means here, two single crochet stitches in one stitch. And do this all the way around. You should have 12 stitches at the end of this round. For round three, we will first crochet a single crochet stitch. Then we will crochet an increase stitch into the next stitch. An increase stitch is two single crochet stitches in one stitch. Then repeat that sequence all the way around. For round four, we will work in the back loop only. The yarn tail should be on top of a piece. Single crochet into the back loops only all the way around. This forms the bottom of the cone. Again, your yarn tail should be on top. For rounds 5 through 11, crochet normal single crochet all the way around. For round 12, we are going to crochet a half double crochet stitch. Then we will crochet a half double crochet increase, which is two half double crochet stitches in the same stitch. Repeat this all the way around. At the end of round 12, join with a slip stitch to the back loop of the first stitch of round 12, and then chain two for height. Work a double crochet stitch into the front loop of the same stitch you slip stitch into. And then work a double crochet stitch into both loops of each stitch all the way around. Fasten off with a slip stitch through both loops of the first stitch. Set aside the cone as we now move to the ice cream scoop. Crochet six single crochet stitches into the magic ring. The first three rounds of the scoop are identical to the first three rounds of the cone, so I'm going to speed through this part. As a reminder, I have a link to instructions on how to slow or speed up the video in the description below. For round two, work an increase stitch into each stitch. For round three, crochet a single crochet stitch, and then crochet an increase stitch into the next stitch. Repeat all the way around. For round four, I want to take a moment to explain the written pattern for beginners following along. The pattern as written in the header is equivalent in stitches to the simplified version written below. One of the sequences is just split up. We do this because if you don't split the stitches that way, it can create a hexagon shape instead of a circle. Let's do it together. Crochet a single crochet stitch, then crochet an increase stitch in the next stitch, then a single crochet stitch in the next stitch, then another single crochet stitch in the next stitch. Repeat the sequence of an increase stitch followed by two single crochet stitches four more times.
then crochet a single crochet stitch, then finish the round with an increase stitch. For round five, crochet three single crochet stitches, then an increase stitch. Repeat this all the way around. For round six, as with round four, we need to split up part of the sequence in order to keep the shape circular. Crochet two single crochet stitches, and then repeat the sequence of an increase stitch followed by four single crochet stitches five total times. Then finish the round with an increase stitch followed by two single crochet stitches. For rounds seven through 11, single crochet all the way around. For round 12, crochet four single crochet stitches and a decrease stitch. Repeat all the way around. For round 13, crochet three single crochet stitches and a decrease stitch. Repeat all the way around. Start round 14 by working two half double crochet stitches into the front loop. If you don't know how to do this, I'll do it slowly with you. Okay, I've just completed the first half double crochet stitch. Now work another half double crochet stitch into the same front loop. I'm gonna put my stitch marker into the first half double crochet. Now we're gonna work four half double crochet stitches into the next front loop. Repeat this all the way around. Before attaching the two pieces, stuff both the cone and the scoop with fiber fill. I like to use pins to keep the pieces together before sewing. Next, we start sewing round 13 of both pieces together. You will have to skip a few stitches on the cone. If you don't like sewing, you could also try single crocheting the pieces together. As a last step, hide your yarn inside the piece. I hope you enjoyed making this tasty treat. If you have any questions, feel free to pop them in the comments below.